there American truckers and future American truckers. Uh, I'm Snapper. Uh, I'm here to tell you about how to become a truck driver in 2021. It's easier than ever to become a driver. Um, there's really nothing to it. Um, there's several different paths you can take to go about it and several different options you can take once you become a driver. All right, let's get into some of these. If you want, you can go to your local community college if you got the money to pay for it, or you may be able to get financial aid and uh, go through uh, their CDL course to get your Class A CDL. That's one way. Another way is to pay for truck driving school out of your pocket or get a loan for it and go to one of these truck driving schools or truck driving academies. There's, there's a bunch of them across the country. Uh, Roadmaster is probably the most common. There's another way you can go about it. And this is, in my opinion, it's the easiest way. If you're homeless or you don't have that much money, you can't afford to go pay for it, this is the route you take. Or if you just want to save your money, this is the route you take. You go to one of the companies that have a CDL school. Um, there's a bunch of them out there. I think Prime, uh, CR England, Stevens Transport, um, I think CRST, Warner, USA Truck. There's a bunch of them. Man, there's, there's probably, all in all, I think Rail does too. All in all, there's probably 20 or 25 companies out here that will uh, put you through school, send you with a trainer, do everything you need to get your CDL from start to finish. Now, if you go that route, you have to work for that company for a while, normally a year. Um, you can get out of it earlier. There are ways of doing it. But those are the options. You know, so if you're homeless or you're down on your luck, the trucking companies are hiring like crazy. Um, there's no reason out here, even on the low end, you should be making 60, 65,000 a year on the low end. That's if you're with a really bad company. If you're with a decent company right now, you should be doing somewhere between 70 and 80. If you're with a good company, you should be doing 90 or more. Uh, some companies are paying six figures a year, uh, especially some of your, uh, line haul companies that haul doubles and triples. A lot of them guys are making, you know, 100, 108, 110, some of them a little more than that a year. So there's plenty of money in it, good benefits. It's a great career to get into. Um, now, once you get into trucking, there's several different options, several different paths you can take. You can be a company driver and uh, work you know, pay your bills, set yourself up for retirement, all that kind of stuff, you know. Or you can go the owner operator route and become a business person, buy a truck. Um, it's probably easier now than it ever has been to buy a truck. There's some people that are buying a truck their first year out here. I mean, we had drivers out here buying trucks that don't even know how to back yet. So if that's something you want to get into, those things are available too. But first, you gotta get a CDL, go to a school. Um, but like I said, right now, man, there's there's so much work out here that it's not even funny. Um, on average, about 30,000 loads a day are not getting hauled. That's how short the industry is. There's plenty of work out here. Um, if you're looking for a job, you want to change careers, whatever the case may be, you like freedom, you don't want a boss looking over your shoulder, uh, you like pretty much judging your day, working your day how you want to work it, um, it's perfect for you. You know, you work the hours, basically pretty close to work the hours you want to work. You know, as long as your loads get picked up on time, they get delivered on time, what you do in the middle, that's up to you. It's not like a regular job. You don't have somebody standing over your shoulder telling you what to do all day long. 
Uh, there's a lot of women out here now. Um, I'd probably say probably 20% of the industry now is women. So, ladies, don't be afraid. There's plenty plenty of work out here. It's, it's equal for everybody. Uh, you do have to be 21 years of age if you're going to run over the road. Um, I think you can do it in-state at 18, but I'm not 100% certain on that. But anyway, short video. Um, hope this helps. Some of y'all are sitting at home looking for a new career, looking to get into something. You know, um, want a job where you can basically do what you want. You want to see the country. Man, I've seen places. There's rich people who spend their whole lives traveling and, and have never seen some of the things I've seen. I've seen beauty beyond beauty. I've seen sights like you wouldn't even imagine. I love it. Um, it's hard to believe I'm pretty much a paid travel agent, I guess you could say. A paid tourist. I love it. So, if that's what you're looking for, that's how you go about it. You can shoot me a message, and uh, if I can help you along in getting started with a company, I'll do the best I can. Uh, give you advice. I know some of these old school truckers that follow my page will hop in here. Man, you'll see them in the comments from time to time. Ask any one of them. They will help you too. Uh, there's plenty of work out here, and we ain't greedy. You know, um, I did 92,000 last year. I'm on path probably do 95 this year. It's pretty good money. You know, it's pretty good money for a high school flunky. You know, um, I do what I want. Nobody's staring over my shoulder. You know, no micromanaging, none of that. I just basically do what I want every day. You know, um, I sleep till I get up and I go to work. Y'all have a great day. Stay safe. Be good to each other. Be kind. Remember, we're all a family out here. And keep trucking.